The UN's World Drug Report for 2023 has revealed an increasing trend in drug use around the world, with cannabis the most widely used, while opioids, especially heroin, remain the most lethal. While there's much focus on hard drugs, the report also highlights the significant misuse of some prescription drugs like tramadol, which is a synthetic opioid used medically as a painkiller. But tramadol also has euphoric or mood-enhancing effects, and in West Africa, that's made it increasingly popular as a recreational drug. Here's DW's Maxwell Souk with a picture from Tamale, Ghana. Apes and downness in a potent cocktail. Karim and his friend Shirazu are dissolving capsules of the synthetic narcotic tramadol into an energy drink, all topped off with a joint of cannabis. It is an intoxicating start to the day. They say the drugs numb their worries about their bleak future. They prefer stupor to the reality around them. The reason why we are taking it is because we don't have job doing. These young drug users have withdrawn to the cover of the Abuabu Forest, central part of Tamale, to take their drugs. All of them say unemployment was a major factor in triggering their substance misuse. And most say they would like to kick the habit and find work. A job could help me to stop taking drugs. We want to stop the drugs. Nobody prays to be taking drugs all her life. You were born to prosper, but not to be a burden. Cannabis is illegal in Ghana, but it is widely produced. Tramadol is legal and increasingly misused. Efforts to limit the strength of the pills on sale have largely failed. Ghana's Food and Drugs Authority says smugglers import dosages many times stronger. One dose can cost as little as a dollar. Authorities admit they are powerless to stop the trade. Where do they come from? Where do they get these things? You just go to the market, so they run away leaving them. We go to Savulgu market and they run away. Health professionals say substance misuse is not solving the user's problem of joblessness. It is making things worse for them. As long as you are not able to think well, you're not able to feel well, it means that it's going to affect uh, your behavior and productivity. And the young ones are those who are actually into this addiction challenge. And so it means that they become individuals who are not available to learn a skill. Karim used to be a fashion apprentice and Shirazu was an art student. Now they say they want to be free of their addiction and have their lives back. I want to stop it because it's like, because when I take it all the time, I'm always getting addicted to it. But in a region that have no drug rehabilitation centers, there is a distant hope. This group of young people in Tamale knows that they are on their own. All right, let's speak to Dr. Ini Dele Adedeji from SOAS, uh, the School of Oriental and African Studies at the University of London. Uh, he's researched the use of tramadol in Nigeria. Welcome to DW News Africa. Um, could we begin by you telling us why do you think tramadol has gained such popularity in Nigeria? Thank you, Jimmy. Uh, I think there are, there are quite a number of reasons for the arguable increase in the quote-unquote popularity or the, the usage of, uh, of tramadol in, um, in, in Nigeria. Um, I think on the, on the one hand, um, we can um, definitely blame its um, relative ease um, in, in terms of the ease of access to tramadol um, in comparison to um, other 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 drugs or, or opioids essentially uh, so there's that on the one hand and this is despite the fact that um, over the last uh, in, in, or rather in recent years um, the Nigerian government has put in place um, quite um, strict measures to um, make it well, to, to, to make it difficult um, for uh, 
individuals to uh, easily access access uh, tramadol. But despite that, um, it's still comparatively easier to access than other than other than than than, than other than other drugs. Um, I think there's also the, um, another factor, which is that. Um, it's not. Con- it doesn't quite have the same stigma or status attached to it as other hard drugs, such as, for example, uh, say, uh, cocaine or heroin and uh, crystal meth and, and things and, and, and things and things like that. So it makes it easier um, uh, to be to for you for intended users to to ask for it, to, to buy it, and to, to and to and to use it as well. And where people getting it from? Is it sort of licensed sources or, or non-medical sources? Uh, both really, I would, I would say. I would say um, people get it um, wherever they wherever they can. Um, officially, people are still able to purchase Tramadol over, over, over the counter. Um, uh, uh, from med- um, from from uh, medical and pharmaceutical dispensaries across uh, across um, Nigeria, um, but unofficially, it's extremely difficult to to do so. Um, thanks, to, uh, as I alluded to earlier, um, the quite hefty measures put in place by the Nigerian government to make it harder um, for for people to um, to easily access uh, tramadol. Um, and so, what that's done is that it's um, it's given the um, the black market uh, uh, um, uh, 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 more power, basically, in terms of um, the uh, uh, supply the, the supply of this uh, of this of, of this opioid, um, due to, of course, an, an increase in in an astronomical increase in demand for for tramadol uh, from from the from black market. Um, sellers essentially so most people get it from the black market uh, we're just watching our, our report earlier you know from ghana uh, where there were concerns raised about the recreational use of tramadol are those concerns justified is it is it dangerous yes those concerns are justified to um to to a to a certain a certain a certain degree um if, if you, for example, take a look, um, if you're an observer or a listener um, of um, uh, popular music um, in, in Nigeria, then you would have noticed um, um, a recent uh, pattern or trend um, where there's been an increase in um, references uh, made to the recreational use of, uh, of, of, of tramadol. And um, I see that as indicative of the popular perception of tramadol um, which is that uh, despite the uh, strong attempts made by the Nigerian uh, government over the last uh, uh, close to a decade now to um, increase uh, awareness and sensitization towards uh, the, 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 the harms inherent in the abuse of, of tramadol um, despite that um, Tramadol still is still seen as a recreational, a recreational uh, a, a drug as a, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a gateway to having a good time, essentially amongst um, many uh, many young uh, young young people in 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 Nigeria. And have you seen any impact of of, of, of what the that recreational use um, does? I mean, um, the, 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 the most evident um, uh, uh, one is addiction. Um, uh, there's there's, uh, um, the, there's the, the, the high risk of becoming addicted to it, which then means that um, one becomes unable to function uh, optimally without resorting to ingesting tramadol. So there's that on the one hand. There's also um, the risk of... Um, Overdose, essentially, um, offer, offer, offer of overdosing of a, a, a tramadol as well, um, and then there are other side effects as well that come with um, abusing, abusing um, tramadol. This, this uh, opioid, which is essentially what tramadol is, mm. um, and so um, those are, those are just a um, few amongst um, several other other uh, um, risks that come with abusing, abusing, abusing uh, tramadol. 
Right. You spoke earlier about why uh, you think this is uh, uh, the, the use of it is prominent in Nigeria, but we're also seeing this seems to be a phenomenon across West Africa. Uh, in, why do you think this region in particular is, is um, has this trend? I think um, on the one hand, uh, the 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 popular use um, or misuse or abuse of tramadol in Nigeria isn't unique to Nigeria, which of course uh, we we both we both agree on. Um, but it's also not unique um, to West Africa. Uh, I think there's just been an increase in focus on the on, on on its use in in west africa which is why it seems um as if this popular use across west africa is um is novel but in actuality if if there's more research conducted across uh Africa, then we might find that um, the, 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 um, the, the the figures regarding its use are might be similar. Say, if we compare uh, use its uh, use use uh, across West Africa to say North Africa, for for example. But I think coming back to West Africa, what we might find is that um, there's a connection to smuggling to smuggling networks uh, to smuggling to smuggling links to transnational to transnational uh, smuggling smuggling um, networks essentially who've seen that um there's there's a, the, they stand a chance of um earning a decent uh, a tidy a tidy profit if they increase their their market beyond um a few select uh, select 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 countries okay Ini Dele Adedeji from SOAS at the University of London. Thank you 